And on the other side of the bridge, if you are looking to try some new restaurants in our area, why not make a trip to the suburbs? Our Astrid Martinez is showing us some new spots west of Philadelphia. Definitely worth checking out. Tired of cooking dinner every night? And nobody wants to Uber eat steak, a good steak yeah, either. Yeah, so so it, make the trip out here. It's time to switch it up. These best restaurants in the western suburbs outside of Philadelphia will spice up your nights. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I don't even need a knife and fork. I'm just cooking up. Make your way to this laid back rooftop restaurant and bar offering globally inspired taste, bold spirits and a lively ambiance made for mingling. Little fine dining um, steakhouse that have um, a mix of crudo, um, you know, kind of raw fish. Hook and Ladder is unique among restaurants in Conshohocken. Their historic firehouse dormitory turned restaurant serves up cool vibes and bold flavors that zero in on seasonal and locally sourced ingredients to be enjoyed in an approachable and sociable setting. The menu is striking. So we special order as um, dry aged for 32 days. Um, it's a CAB prime. And this is the 42 ounce um, tomahawk ribeye. Mm -hmm. It has and so much flavor. Next to it is uh, the bone marrow, mm -hmm. um, which is um, we top with um, caviar, um, uni, and then um, pickle, onions. So we splash caviar, a little. Yeah. It's a little fancy and yeah. the bone. Okay, delicious. And then we have, um, you know, crudo. We, we go into like a kind of like curing fish, mm -hmm. madai crudo which is um, re um, Japanese red snapper. The ambiance combines gorgeous views of the city with this stunning rooftop, or take a seat in their draft room and sip on dozens of beers or incredible list of specialty cocktails. Roughly 16 miles away is Joey Chops in Malvern. It is a spin on a traditional steakhouse, so you're going to have a lot of uh, raw bar items and uh, seafood like uh, oysters and shrimp cocktail and, and crudos. Stove and Company Restaurant Group continues its takeover of the main line with a new boutique restaurant that just opened last week. We wanted to create a dining destination out on the main line. Uh, a place where people can come celebrate, have really fine food, great wine, great drinks. We don't want people to be intimidated by the space whatsoever. And still, our, our business model and our, our whole thing is about being community-based. So we want people to come in with their families, with their kids. But we also want a place where people can go have corporate dining, date night, anniversaries, celebratory, or just a Monday night to go gra grab some good food. Joey Chops puts a modern twist on the classic American steakhouse with wood-fired prime cuts, bright flavors, and amazing seafood. Let's start with your appetizer. All right, let's go scallop crudo. Okay. Gonna have a little spice, like I said, a little passion fruit on it. Micro cilantro, go ahead. Okay. You can also sip on their new yet classic cocktails, but most of all, enjoy their outstanding service. It's a dry aged New York strip, bone in, sliced out with our roasted Brussels sprouts, creamy mashed potatoes, and cream spinach. Wow. Plate me, yeah, chef. Exactly. <laughs> have, a little, have a little dry aged beef. Okay. All right. Should we try some sides with it yeah, as well? You have to. Okay. You have to get some Brussels sprouts. A little pomegranate seeds. And cheese. And cheese. Parmesan Yum. cheese. You gotta get a little. And eyeing those mashed potatoes. You gotta get a little mashed potato okay. on there. Okay. Mm. Right? This is how I should be treated every day. I agree. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my God. Astrid Martinez, Philly Live.